Hi lovelies, I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, anyway, I just wanted you to see this bag because I really don't pay too much attention to the details when I have these bags, and I should. Um, you can shop online if you want to go to DollarTree.com. I didn't know that. But I think I've looked at the website a little bit, and but I've never ordered from there. But you can get things in bulk. If you need bulk items, they'll give you like 48 or 30 items for whatever the price is now because now they're $1.25, not just a dollar. If you haven't been there in a while, they've gone up. Also, they said return to a participating store to recycle this bag if you don't use these at your house. So if you have any Dollar Tree bags and you believe in recycling, then you want to get them off your hands. They will accept the bags back from you. Who knew? I didn't know that one. And I've been shopping there forever. So anyway, let's just get into the haul. I got these SpongeBob SquarePants wall decals for my son's room. And as you can see here, this is how they decorated the um, room. It's so cute the way they use the stickers, um, you know, the decals in somebody else's room. So this gives us an idea of what to do. And these are all the different pictures. There's Sally and everybody else, the whole gang. Cool. Then there's the self-adhesive hooks. These hold up to two pounds. And these are good. I like these. But they're mostly for lightweight items. I don't know if it'll really hold two pounds. I would say one pound. It can hold canvases if you're putting up pictures in your house. These are great to have around. Um, then I got some more wall decals because I had, actually have to do my back wall again. I haven't done it in like a year for you all. I was looking at my old videos and I need to do that so you guys can see um, like the transformation of the back wall where we do most of the filming at, you know. This is the world map and all the different countries. And this will look good on the wall somewhere. So I'm going to use, use this, and I think it's really cute. I got a couple of these. So then this is my positive energy sticker, which I have one of these already. So I don't really know where I'm going to put this again, but I'll figure it out. It'll go somewhere. I like this sticker. Um, another world map. Um... This is a birthday sash. It says it's my birthday. I have two more birthdays coming up. Um, I already did my niece's birthday in May 26, but now I have my son's birthday coming up in June. Then my daughter's birthday is coming up in November. And my husband's coming up in October, but he's not into balloons and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if I have to do that for him. But you know what? You never know what I'll do. But anyway, they you have to go to different Dollar Trees too. This is what I'm finding out with Dollar Tree. You can't go to the same Dollar Tree all the time because you're going to get kind of practically the same old stuff but if you go to different dollar trees you're you're going to find like different stuff so that's what i did this time around and i was really happy with a lot of things that i got a lot of the stuff that i got now is gone because i had gotten uh some mugs for the teachers and everything because it's like the end of the school year and we wanted to show some love and appreciation to them and also got them a big cake and everything and you know people that help my son on a day-to-day -day basis and help my daughter I wanted to remember them as also so a lot of stuff that I did have is gone like gift bags and different things like that I do still have some tissue paper and stuff like that but the Dollar Tree is a great place to get like gift bags and things like that that you need so with birthdays coming up like I said I wanted to make sure I got things like this this is felt garland and it says happy birthday so this is cute this will save you a couple of bucks um besides going to party city so maybe if you can find these things online you can get them if you don't see them at your local dollar tree you know but it's best to go to a couple of dollar trees and see what you can find because the ones that's right around you may not have exactly what you need okay um these are happy birthday candles and look at that these are so cute i've never found this at the dollar tree by me so i don't know and they sell mirrors i got this mirror from there it's only $1.25. Um, these are very good when you want to freshen up the air around the house. Wizard, the magic of fresh. The scent that I get this time was clean linen is also a good scent. This one is vanilla papaya. Camera's not focusing, but vanilla papaya. I'm trying to keep it still so I can focus. I've never tried that, that scent, so hopefully it's good. I don't know. Um, got some borettes, snap clips. Very cute varieties. Soap dishes. I needed these. I'm never able to find them anywhere else. So I got two of these. I actually should have got more. Then there's transparent tape. 
Lysol disinfecting wipes. You never can have too many of these, guys. Never. To carry with you. Wipe down surfaces. With everything that's always going around in the world. For real. There's something new every day. That's what it looks like. Um, the carpet cleaner. Love my carpet. Bites odor. It's a foaming carpet cleaner. I've used this. It's really great. So I got like two of those. It comes in a 9.7 ounce bottle. A spray can, I should say. Um, Aquarell antibacterial travel wipes. And in face moisturizing towelettes for hands and face. Ideal for traveling, moisturizing, thick and soft cloths for a scent. So I would say maybe if you don't have a towel, I guess you can use these. I don't know. Some things that you put on your face at Dollar Tree aren't always good. Like some of the makeup sometimes isn't good, but um, it just depends on what brand you get. If you get a trusted brand that you know, then you shouldn't have a problem. One time I broke out from one because I have really super sensitive skin and it may not be their fault. For people who have lesser sensitive skin, I'm sure there's no problems with putting stuff there on your face. But my skin is super sensitive. So this is good um, to use. I think I got one or two of these. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've had these. Um, I also got these Yardly disposable washcloths enriched with aloe vera, chamomile, and vitamin E. Yeah, I got these. I think I got these even before Mother's Day. But I just haven't been able to have time to take them out the bag and do a haul for you guys. That's a pretty barrette. I like this for my hair. Cute. I will be wearing this. Some more barrettes. Probably needs to go to my daughter because... She has some that are like colorful, but then I don't think she has all black pair. And I saw another one of these for me. So cute. Okay. Get some more stuff out. Okay. So tissue wrap for like gift wrapping. You need this. And they have 24 sheets in various colors for you. These are all the pretty colors that they come in. Then they have the standard, like, green, blue, yellow, pink, red, basic colors. And these are good for, like, wrapping presents, mugs, like I had to do this week. And, um, well, I should say last week. Last week and everything like that. So this is good. Um, got a shower curtain liner. I needed this. I got two mugs in there. I didn't even know. Um, it's like ribbon, you know, to wrap presents or to decorate with arts and crafts. There's some Dial Vanilla Honey Soap. I love Dial Soap. This is good. This is a good buy. I don't know why I only got one, but I think I already have some more soap, so that's probably why I only got one that day. I'm not really sure what these mugs are. Let's see, Oh, two green mugs for me. I love the green, and this is my favorite color. These are extra mugs. I'm definitely running out of mugs, and I needed to have these. So green is my favorite color, and I was so glad to find these little cute mugs there. Dollar Tree. Dollar 25 Tree, I should say. Um, I think I showed you guys this. Oh, maybe I didn't know. I didn't show you guys this. Another happy birthday letter banner. Great for decorating. So if you can't see stuff at, like, Party City, check your local Dollar Tree or check online. Now that you know you can... Shop online for stuff, too, and look around. Plus, it's also a good idea to check online and see if there's new items that you don't know anything about, you know? You know? Then you can go into the Dollar Tree when you go physically into the store and say, well, okay, I saw this online. I wonder if they have it in the actual store if you don't want a huge quantity of it. Because I think when you order online, you have to get a bigger quantity than what you would get if you wanted a smaller quantity at the store. But don't quote me on it because, because I don't order online. I mostly go physically. So I can't say. Um, here's another cute little happy birthday banner. And look at that, guys. It's a little dinosaur. That's so cute. I'm going to use this for my son's birthday. I think it'll be cute. I could take pictures with it or something. Then I got these. Crafter Square Iron On Art. We just kind of put this on a t-shirt, I think. We haven't used them yet. And that's it. 
And you can put it on tote bags. That's cute. And, um, yeah. I don't know. I haven't used this, but I'm really anxious to try this out. Really anxious to try this out. Iron on art. It's Crafter Square. Crafter Square, guys. Um, you know, people go to Michael's and Hobby Lobby, like I do, and you find good stuff for a fraction of the price over at Dollar Tree. Make sure you check out Crafter Square over at Dollar Tree. Just to, you know, give yourself an idea of what they have there. Um, and then we have these. Neon Little Starburst. School, home, and office. You know, arts and crafts stuff. This is cute. And... Some canvases. These are very sturdy, by the way. Sturdy Crafter Square canvas panels. This is 11 by 14. Natural cotton canvas. It's excellent for oil and acrylic paints. So, it's for my daughter. I'm sure she'll be able to utilize these. She got that from her Nada. So, thank you, Nada, for these. Um, let's see. And she also gave us these, too. These Faith... Um, Iron-ons. Oh, I did get some more of these guys. The vanilla papaya. So, I'm hoping it smells good. I haven't sprayed it yet. Because I'm just not going over the hall with you guys. Let's see. Um, there's some crepe streamer paper. Got another happy birthday banner. More crepe streamer paper. So, there's two rolls of that. Decorative tape. It's 45 feet. It's pretty long. Get some more palm olive. This is a small size though, but you know, you can never have too much of this stuff. Here we go. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, you got some mint lemon foamy hand sanitizer. We actually use a little bit of the store in the store because I had to. Hands felt yucky after touching stuff. So this is really good. It foams up and it smells good. And, you know, the sanitizer. Feels really good on your hands. Decorative tape. I think I showed you guys this already, but I got this in two. Then there's some electrical tape. Don't pay full price for tape. I'm telling you, there's plenty of tape and it's good tape over at the Dollar Tree. They have mailing tape. They have duct tape. They have masking tape. They have scotch tape. So, yeah. Never pay more than you have to for tape when you can find it over at the Dollar Tree. Birthday candles, they have those. I was happy to see these because sometimes I can't find these, believe it or not. Um, antibacterial soap. More antibacterial soap. Got a happy birthday one, but I need a two because I have a 12-year-old coming up soon. But anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> Every time my kids are about to turn double digits, one of the numbers are missing. True story. Like when my daughter was turning like 14, I couldn't find the four. So I had to get a smaller four over at Party City than the helium number one. So they look kind of weird, but I made it work. So I don't know. Maybe all of our kids are turning the same ages at the same time. You know what I mean? <laughs> so... Anyway, uh, yeah, the two is missing, so I got to find that somewhere. Anyway, let's see. Um, decorative tape. Streamer. What is this? Oh, burlap ribbon is green. This is pretty for decorating. And, yeah, this, that's about it. And that is the end of the haul, guys. It's quite a haul. A bunch of stuff. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. If you're new here, please subscribe. My videos are also about affordable fashion, lifestyle vlogs, and more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Hey, lovelies, it's Frederica. It feels like forever since I've like sat down and like done a self-care Sunday video. So um, me and my husband, we just celebrated like 17 years of our anniversary. So we were so happy this week to celebrate 17 years, and it's just like came so fast, you know, you get with somebody and then all of a sudden, you know, you're celebrating 17 years. So it's, it's crazy. And, you know, the kids were babies and it's just like, I just can't believe it. You know, it's been that long, honestly. 
<laughs> if somebody had told me I would be with someone maybe that long, I'd be like, really? Well, I really, you know, so I'm so thankful to have uh, a great family. I'm thankful for my husband and, you know, I'm just really thankful. So self-care Sunday to me is all about being like happy and thankful. And I'm really feeling blessed, you know, at this point in my life. And I'm so thankful for that. I thank God for my husband, my kids, you know, and just everybody that loves us, all our friends and family. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the anniversary wishes. We love you and thank you so much for everything you said, all your great prayers and your good blessings. You know, we love you guys so much. Really, we do. And that being said, today, I have like a self-care Sunday haul. I'm looking at like literally one, two, three, four bags. And one, one of these bags, I have like, it has like a Goodwill. It says Goodwill. You know, I do have a Goodwill haul, but... Um, it's not going to be in this video, but I put all the stuff that I got to show you guys in this bag. So the Goodwill haul will be coming soon, but I just haven't had time to really film that for you all. And I didn't find a whole bunch of stuff, so I was going to go back so I could do more of a spring-summer lookbook for you later on. You know, because spring hasn't really... Well, spring didn't arrive here early, honestly. And we're still working on trying to get summer here, so uh, it's been cold, you know. So... Um, let's start on this stuff, I guess, you know, if you're new to my channel, I'm Frederica, great to meet you, join the Lovelies Girl Gang, uh, where we're all about affordable fashion and lifestyle videos and lifestyle vlogs. So, let me get right into the haul. Some of the, I even see a Sephora bag in here, so I got a little bit of everything for you here, and this is a heavy bag. Um, so this is going to be a real, real big video because I remember filming, uh, another Dollar Tree video for you all, and... I didn't get a chance to put everything in that video because it's like four bags here. So let's just go through the Sephora haul first. Okay. Um, some of this is like from Target and different things. Uh, this did come from Sephora for my birthday. Uh, they gave me a Sephora Beauty Insider milk makeup product. So it's like a blush. But you can use it as an eyeshadow if you want. Like you guys know, I'm not really big on blush because of these chubby cheeks I got. I don't need to highlight those. <laughs> uh, they already highlight themselves. Then I got this Keisha Cole bonnet. I think over at Burlington. I might have already showed you guys this one. But I think this is the second one that I picked up. It was so pretty. And um, yeah, I just love the colors. So I'm going to get that one. And she has all these beautiful designs. You know, when you want to like, tie your hair up at night. This is great. And I love Keisha Cole. It's my girl. Let's see. Um, there's an elf. I think I got this from Amazon, though, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, because I remember telling you about my scrunchies. So this was an Amazon find. And this is just the elf bite size eyeshadow in rose water, which is really pretty and pigmented. Um, I think I guys I showed you guys like a five below eyeshadow. That one hasn't been really working for me. I have to do too much for it to be pigmented on my eyes, so I'm not really into that one. But there's a couple of tips that they gave you, like what you have to put a, a glimmery, like a glimmery sheen on there. You have to put the glimmery on, then you put the matte on there. But it came out looking matte, and I wore it for my like anniversary, so my eyes wasn't really popping like that. And I picked some vibrant colors. So I was really surprised that it didn't come out as pigmented as I wanted. So just go with their tips and see if that works. Even when I tried to do it like the shimmery, wear shimmery first and then put the matte on top, like they suggested in the um, like they suggested in the product, it didn't work for me. So maybe it'll work for you guys. And I did show that to you in the last vlog, the end of May vlog. So you'll get a, you know, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about if you check the end of May vlog, that eyeshadow. Because I'm not gonna show it here again. Um, this was a lipstick collection by Nicole Miller. It had about five shades. I took out one because I don't think it was my color. But this is cruelty-free and vegan. And it comes out really pretty on your lips. Those are the different shades right there. The palettes. And one of them I, I took them out already. I think because I'm not going to use it. So I didn't really like that color. Which goes really good with that blush. With that No, with the uh, eyeshadows that I just showed you. Uh, from eyes, lips, and face. This is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have yet to try this. I believe this was over at Dollar Tree, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think this was at Dollar Tree. So, 
So that was good. And they were having a great sale on makeup the day I went to Sephora. So I got my new foundation. I love this foundation. I don't know if they're going to stop selling it or not. I hope they don't. It's the Sephora brand Warm Amber. It's my shade. I love it so much. And it hasn't been opened yet. So I was waiting to show you guys. And you've seen me, like if you've watched my eyebrow tutorials, and you've seen this foundation. It's the only one I really use. Um, it comes out as matte, like a matte finish. But if you moisturize your skin or you put on the spring mist afterwards, you'll get that glossy, you know, effect that you want for your makeup. And they had this on sale, which I got two of these. This is a concealer. I haven't opened this one yet either. And this is toffee, which is my color. I, I got two of them that day because the guy told me that they were having a sale. So I only spent $27 there and I got like three products. Um, I got my foundation. Um, I got the liquid concealer, which normally was $14. It was on sale for $3.50. Shocking. I'm a beauty insider, so I was able to get that, um, that blush that I showed you, the milk blush, for free as a birthday gift for me. And, um, how much is it? yeah, $27 for everything. Well, $29.36 with tax. And this was purchased March 2nd. Then, I think I showed you guys this too. Yeah, Seriously Satin Taffy Eyes, Lips, and Face. I got this from Amazon when I ordered my scrunchies, which I need to order more scrunchies. I love the scrunchies. And I did leave a link for you all um, in that vlog as well. So that's the end of that little bag. Got that done. Okay, there's more stuff in here. I don't know if I showed you all this. I got this over at TJ Maxx, $4.99. Peach. If you all know me, you know I love eyeshadows. So this is Peach by BYS Eyeshadow Palette. It comes with a beautiful mirror. And this is the palette. So this is pretty. I love it. The way they did it and the colors. Colors are on the back as well. This is four ninety nine. So that was a good buy. I love Not Your Mother's. I got this over at Target. Um, Smooth Moves Anti-Frizz Conditioner. Five times smoother hair. I'm a Not Your Mother's girl. I love their products, honestly. Been using their products forever. And they used to have a um, product, which I don't know if they still sell it, where it like conditions and grows your hair and strengthens it. It's like it was in a red and white container, just like that one, but red and white, and I don't see it anymore. So I have to check Ulta, which is where I got it before, and hope they still carry it because I stopped buying it, and I don't know if they've like changed that product or they don't sell it anymore, or they have something different. Because sometimes companies, they'll change products, and you'll be the last to know. So when you go back, it's gone, and you're like, where did it go? So this one, I don't know what was in here. Oh, yes, I did. It was this. This was inside of there by TJ Maxx. So I have a little bit of everything in here. Okay, now I think I'm going into the Dollar Tree stuff. Oh, no, no, no. I got this at Target. $2.99 for these combs. It's a comb set. So like when you get out of the shower, comb through your hair and detangle it. Get this from Dollar Tree Essentials Bodies Wash. It's by Arm & Hammer. It's a good product, and it looks like it's wasted in here. It's gonna be messy in here. Okay, spray starch. Uh, they had dry shampoo. This is over at Dollar Tree, shocking. So make sure you look at that good because they don't always sell the same products at Dollar Tree. So if you find Products that you like at Dollar Tree, definitely pick them up. Pick them up. It's more like spray starch. I was just getting like, you know, little cleaning products of spray products that you need from there. Let me wipe my hands again. There's soap spilled in this bag. It's a good thing I went in here. I didn't even know. So I had to wash my hands. They're all soapy. I love this 
Maybelline mascara is my favorite. And CoverGirl too. No, it's Maybelline. It's not good. I mean, I love CoverGirl, but I mostly use uh, Maybelline a lot. The pink and green one, that's the one I love. I live by that one. Used it forever. But these small seeds ones, I've never tried this. So I'm anxious to get this to try. This wasn't over at Dollar Tree, though. This was at Target. So, small seeds. I gotta give that a try and see what that's about. Press Kids. If you know my story about teeth, then you know why I'm getting these, okay? For me and my kids. More spray starch. My husband's gonna be happy about that. Because he needs that for his shirt. Oh boy. This bag is really messy. Um, I got some hand sanitizer. It's real messy right now. And this was over at Dollar Tree. It's daily defense coconut and vitamin oil, vitamin E, fridge defense. I can't wait to give this a try. It's probably looking yucky because, like I said, some soap spilled in here. And I'm not going to stop the video to, to, you know, to fix it or whatever. What is this? Oh, Superstay Matte Ink. And lovelies, this is a Superstay Matte Ink lipstick by Maybelline. This was over at Target. I don't think I got that at Dollar Tree. I don't think I got that at Dollar Tree, no. Um, no, I'm sorry. I think I got this from Sally Beauty Supplies. It's been so long, I don't even know where I got this stuff from. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only lady who does that. Like, you go and get stuff, and then, like, if you're, like, a blogger, and then you forget, like, where you got stuff from. I mean, that's me. I guess that's me. I've been holding on to this stuff too long, and I should have just done the video right away. But I was trying to have an accumulation of stuff so you guys could see what it was. So some of this is like Mother's Day stuff. Some of it is my birthday stuff, you know, and it's crazy. But anyway, yeah, I love this color. And let's take it out and see. It's like going to have a matte finish. So with matte lipsticks, the best thing to do is to, like, if you want it more glossy, is to just kind of put a, like, base of, like, a Vaseline or some kind of lip gloss underneath, and then it'll be less matte. Because when it's matte, it's going to come out like drying. And I don't really like lipsticks like that. I like them to be like moisturized, but I love the color. So that's why I got this. And I love Maybelline products too. So, And then my daughter got me these two lipsticks over at Sally Beauty Supply. And the colors are exactly like this. This one is called Bitsy Lipstick, which is so cute. This one is called Is It Passion? Uh, color number 515052. And then she got me this one too. Another Bitsy lipstick. This one is called Happy Hour, color number 515051. So, yeah, so these are really pretty too. So I like those shades. I used to like more browns and everything. Um, and then I really used to have a pretty shade that I used to get by Rimmel. It was like a terracotta color and they stopped selling it. So I haven't been able to find that. So Rimmel, if you're listening, I need that terracotta color to come back. You called it something different, but I can't remember the exact name, but it was like that terracotta like color, like a pineapple, oh, like pineapple orangey color. It was really pretty. Um, okay, this is a new condition that I'm trying. The other products that I got from him in the yellow bottle did not work for my hair. It was a conditioner and a shampoo. I didn't use that. I stopped using it because it wasn't working for my hair. Maybe it's just not for my texture, you know. But I did get this brand by Mark Anthony. It's called Grow Long Super Fast Strength Conditioner Anti-Breakage Formula for Longer, Stronger Hair that shines. It has caffeine and ginseng in it, so I wanted to give this a try. Um, I really love conditioners for my hair, too. When you condition your hair and you're using the right conditioner, that makes your hair grow longer and stronger and also um, fights frizz. But you have to get like a frizz-defying conditioner for that to work. So I think my hair is looking less frizzy than it normally is because I've been using um, different products here and there, trying to like find the right one. And sometimes you have to use a lot of different products before you find the exactly good product, you know, that works. Um, I got this product too. This is a conditioner. Oh my God, I love conditioners. I have too many conditioners. Um, this one is Salt Bake Free Herbal Essences Avocado and Argan Oil Repair. That's another one. But the important thing to remember is not to use 
two of these at the same time because if you do, you got to get your hair confused. So maybe try one for a month, you know, and then if you see that that's not working after a month or two, then you leave this one alone. And then you try this one the next month or two. And then that's how you kind of switch out. But don't use them together at the same time. I don't do that because you kind of drive your hair crazy. And you'll drive yourself crazy because then you won't remember, like, what are you doing, you know, to your hair. <laughs> and let's do more Dollar Tree stuff. I got these pretty little um, floral arrangements at Dollar Tree. I'm kind of getting away from, like, the pinks. And this and that. I think this is cute. I watched Park and Bethany, who's like a Dollar Tree queen and DIY guru here on YouTube. I love her. Um, she actually does a lot of DIYs. And I see that she only uses like one or two flowers and she'll put them in a vase. Me, I actually have too many flowers in the vase. So I'm going to start revamping that. I want to do it the way she does it on her channel. And it looks so pretty and sophisticated. You don't have to use a lot of flowers for them to look, you know, put together. So I, I'm finding that out from her. I did get these pink roses because these were cute. Uh, but I, I'm kind of getting away from this a little bit because I like more of this, you know. But when I see these, because sometimes they sell out of these quickly, um, and they're the most affordable, these little uh, plastic arrangements. I looked at like Hobby Lobby and Michaels. They're very expensive for these kind of artificial flowers. Very. So if you find these at Dollar Tree, you know, this is a win-win. What was this one called? Let's see. Uh, I didn't tell you that. This one just is called foliage. That's it. This is called foliage. And it's really pretty. It looks like real leaves. Uh, those are the roses. Those are really pretty. And then this one. What is this one called? I've never gotten this one before. Foliage. It's got like that pink color in it. I think this is very pretty. So I'm going to do it like Mark and Bethany does it. <laughs> And yeah, I got a lot of these. Just a few of these. So I can make a new floral arrangement. A lot of the foliage. Um, now these aren't the Keisha Cole bonnets. But they did have these over at Dollar Tree. I'm sure they're inspired by her. This is the Sleek brand. First Line Sleek Products. Um, her brand is by Kiss. Kiss Cosmetics. So this one is by Sleek. So if you want like a Dollar Tree brand... And they have these too, you know. And I would lose these, so I said, let me pick them up. Actually, it's a dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree now, ladies. If you didn't know, they've gone up a little bit, but they still have great stuff. And like I was telling you in the last video, don't go to the same Dollar Tree all the time. Try to go to different Dollar Trees because you're going to find the same old stuff. I went to a different Dollar Tree this time, and I was able to find a lot of birthday products that I'm going to be in need of for my son's upcoming birthday, and. Um, also for my daughter's birthday too, but that's not till November. But I don't like to wait last minute to do stuff. When I see stuff, I kind of try to pick it up. And that's the best way to be because then you can find, you know, bargains too. The sooner that you pick something up. These are just pencil sharpeners. Thinking about back to school. You can never start too soon with that. And those are pretty colors too. Got some Reach mouthwash. This is over at Dollar Tree. More foliage. I had to get my sign again. Positive energy. Um, found some DIY stuff. They have a craft uh, section over at um, Dollar Tree too. So you guys should really check that out. This is so cute. Wood shapes where you can color this with your kids. So like I said, we like to do a lot of DIY stuff. These are the emojis. Isn't that cute? So hopefully we'll do this sometime this summer. Those are really cute. That's more LA Colors eyeshadow. This is a good brand. So if you get LA Colors eyeshadow there, it's good. I don't use their foundation though because one time it broke me up and I had to wind up taking it back to them and tell them it didn't work for my skin. And that's when it was a dollar. So maybe they have something now better, but they have something called B&B &B or something. I haven't tried that yet. And it comes in different like shades. So maybe I'll give that one a try. But I know mo I'm mostly my go-to is my Sephora stuff. I do not play with my skin, you know, because I can't be breaking out. And I don't even wear makeup that often. So when I do make it, wear it. I don't want to be breaking out, you know. So this is LA Colors. 
cute. I love those shades. Algebra and Toothpaste, Dollar Tree. I thought these were so cute. It's by LA Colors. Very, you are very sweet. It's a macaron lip balm. These are so cute. Can you imagine collecting like 10 of these? Like a collectibles and like decorate it, you know? I might I might look into doing that. I don't know. This is a mini gel lamp. They had that at Dollar Tree, believe it or not. Haven't tried it yet. I'll give you like a heads up if it's good or not. A lot of things they don't always sell there. So like I said, if you see something you like, pick it up, give it a try, and see what happens. Um, dental floss. It's only a dollar twenty-five there. You can pay up to like three ninety-nine for dental floss. Believe it or not, if you go to like your more variety and like CVS and Walgreens type stores. But if you can get it there and you can save a little bit, you can. Um, command strips. They definitely didn't have this in Dollar Tree. This is from Target. They have their own brand of these, but they don't have these. Not the 3M pound. They have 3M tape, but they don't have 3M command strips. Those were over at Target. Oh, we found another. Yeah, it's called Crafter Square when you go to Dollar Tree. So we found this cute little rhinoceros. So we get to click on a color or paint, paint rather, and make it cute. Got my wet and wild. This is a hot red lipstick. Dollar Tree brand. I love lipsticks. This is a Puma Stone by the Sassy and Chic brand over at Dollar Tree. And these were really great for your feet. Two in one foot file. So, empty. Okay, let me get you guys this because this is a really good find. I was shocked they had this. This is a flexible LED desk lamp sunbeam. No bulbs to replace. This was over a Dollar Tree. And they said if you switch to LED, you're supposed to save $106 a year in your light bill. So, it's an energy star. And it's got the different lumens and all of that on there. So, this is a good buy. I got two of them. I should have got more, but I wasn't sure if they were going to be good or not. And I haven't seen these at Dollar Tree again. So, I don't know why I didn't get at least six. That was kind of crazy. But anyway, I got two of these. And I hope they do work good. Now, off to Target. <clears throat> if, you did, if you didn't miss my end of May vlog, please watch the end of May vlog. Because you are going to see this most beautiful curtain ever. You know, and you get to see a lot of little different things that I do. Sometimes, if I don't have time to film a video for you all during the week, I'll do like a a lot of end of the May or end of July or, you know, we haven't got to July yet. But I did like the end of uh, April clips, end of May clips. So you can just kind of get a roundup of what's going on. If I didn't have much, you know, content or whatever, then I was just going to make the end of the May clips for you guys. So you can see what was going on, you know. So um, I found this beautiful curtain over at Target and it's just, oh my God, it's so gorgeous. And I was just glad to find it online. And then I ordered it and they shipped it to me and I was like, yay, you know. So make sure you check that out. And I hadn't completed my towels or anything. So I was going to go to Target and I did go to Target and I got some towels to kind of make it look even more prettier in my bathroom. So I love Target towels. They're gorgeous. So I got this color to match my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful curtain. And I love this color, these plush towels. The Target. Oh, they're so soft. So soft. It's the Total Fresh Bath Towel brand. And I got two of these. So pretty. And I also got these pillowcases, which I don't know why I didn't get the sheets that match this. So I'm going to get the sheets that match this this week that's my plan two pillowcases in this pretty green and white color you know how i love green so i couldn't pass these up and what size did i get in this um this is by room essentials i got standard and then i think i also got king or queen i'm not sure which one oh yeah i got king for this so i got two sets of these standard and king 
And I, I've gotten their pillowcases before. They're very, very cute, and they, they last for a long time. And I also got these hand towels. You can't have too many hand towels, and they are so plush. And then great varieties, too. And I also got a pack of towels. These are so cute, and I got them in color black. Just kind of to match the decor, you know, that I want. So, lovelies, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Don't get out of this video without subscribing. I wanted you, I want you to join the Lovelies Girl Gang. Okay? Uh, we are a lit crew over here. Love you so much. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.